Hello everyone, welcome to Skaya.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today we are going to discuss the macular region and the pathologies that are related to this particular region that we're talking about. So macula is basically responsible for the most central vision of an individual. May it be the other anatomical features that are related to the macula, that is the fovea or the fovea centralis, all of these are responsible for relaying messages uh, to the visual cortex for the final interpretation. So any abnormality, uh, whether it may be the degeneration or the detachments that are related to the macular region is going to affect the visual acuity of an individual. We'll be discussing the hereditary macular dystrophies, first of all. So there are a lot of maternal con uh, conditions. For example, it can be the drug interactions or any other uh, prevailing diseases uh, in the mother that can be responsible for the hereditary macular disorders uh, in, the uh, in the child. So we'll be discussing that over here and then we'll be moving on to the syndromic conditions. For example, it can be the Best's disease. Best disease is basically a syndromic condition in which we have the macular detachments that are associated with the other conditions in the body of the child. So we'll be discussing the clinical features, uh, the signs and symptoms mainly associated with this particular disease and what are the treatment modalities that are available out there for this kind of a syndrome. We'll be discussing the Stargardt's disease. So working as a retinal specialist, you should know how to basically diagnose this condition, make the differential diagnosis in such a case, and then finally correlate the clinical features to plan out a treatment modality for these patients as well. We'll be discussing the photopic causes for the development of retinopathy. May it be the religious causes uh, or the sunbathing that can be responsible for the development of solar retinopathy in a lot of individuals. Moving on, we'll be discussing the central serious uh, chorioretinopathy in a lot of individuals. Uh, Sometimes the choroid plexus is also involved along with the retina and there are a lot of uh, pathologies that are related to the choroid plexus as well as the retina and the sclera is sometimes involved in a lot of patients. Uh, so what are the particular clinical features towards this serious kind of chorioretinopathy that will be discussed over here? We'll be briefly summarizing the cystoid macular edema in a lot of patients. So the signs and symptoms, of course, along with the management guidelines for such a condition. And along with that, the macular hole. So the macular hole can be uh, thought of as the retinal detachment. Uh, what are the final outcomes for such a condition? And then the diagnosis and the prognostic factors uh, towards this kind of a pathology that will be summarized over here. So we have a range of lectures available on ophthalmopathy, so do watch these lectures on our website. Uh, thanks for watching skaya.com and get access to watch the complete lectures.